All right, we're going to jump right into this video. This is day 30 of 31, almost there. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve data from Wikipedia, load it into a vector database, and then have a local server running an open source LLM ask it a question. So here I also have a, U, a Streamlit UI to run this. So the Wicca search, I'll just have, say, Sam Altman. The question is to give me a summary of Sam Altman, and then you just click this button to retrieve Wicked data and ask away. And from the data it got from Wikipedia, it gives me the summary of Sam Altman. Now, let's see how I did this. Well, the first thing I did was I run LM Studio. I, on the home page, downloaded a Phi2 model because my machine can handle that. So after I downloaded it, I went to the local server tab on left-hand side, loaded the Phi2 model, and then started the server. And so now I have a local server running an open source LLM that I can use for the text generation. And now as far as the code goes, I only have one file, a main.python file, which has the autogen and the streamlet all here. So there's quite a few Langchain uh, imports here. I'll have a requirement so you don't have to worry about that. So you can just install from there. So basically I set the title just to call Wikibot for the streamlet UI. So with st.sidebar gives me a sidebar, which is where you type in who you want to search on Wikipedia. By default, I just have it Bill Gates to have some placeholder. So if the user input is not none, meaning this is confirmation that you have something, it just says, it just gives you a written message. Okay, so then I have a button that I want to create on the sidebar, and then I have a question on the main, uh, on the main area uh, that we want to actually ask with the vector database to retrieve information for us. So if you click the button and the length of this question that you have is greater than zero, then we're going to start loading um, information from Wikipedia. So as you can see here, there's a Wikipedia loader where we take the user input, which is who you want to search for. So by default, Bill Gates. Um, I have it set to just a load a maximum of two documents. And this is an important property here, the doc content characters max. This has changed name. So if you had tried this like in a previous version, um, it won't work because that property um, has changed its name, which happens um, with AI, I set it to 10,000, which means is whenever it searches for Bill Gates, the first Wikipedia page that it finds, it's going to only retrieve the first, by default, I believe it's 4,000. So I set it to 10,000 so it could retrieve more information from that first Wikipedia page. And we're going to load that. And then we have a, then I have a text splitter where I want to chunk all the text into 1,000 characters that I'm actually splitting uh, all of the documents. So we have more documents, which is going to allow for um, better uh, similarity searching. So now I have a docs variable. We created a chroma uh, DB store I'm using hugging face embeddings. Then you add the documents to the vector store, and then we start our retrieval chain. So I know that you see open AI here. This it allows us, it is like a wrapper so that we can um, use a base URL. We can use a model. We can use the API key. So that if you want, if you don't want to use the API, um, open AI's API, then you can do something local with LM Studio. And this is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm using, I'm setting the base URL to LM Studio's local server URL. And if you were using Olama, then you would also put the model property here as well, because you need the model for Olama. Mm. We have a retriever for the vector store, and then we set our memory buffer. Here, what is happening is we're taking the response. So we're getting the question. So this QA here, right? This was, this was the question answer. So we want to take the response from uh, the question that we're going to ask to the vector database. And then this is just some JSON to help it like the output be a little cleaner. That's all this is doing. So the final output. So if there is a response, we're going to print that response just um, in your terminal, just so you can see that what it's actually printing. And we want to output the answer into a text area. And then finally, right here is your summary to confirm that it worked. And now in order to run this, because it's a streamlit application, First off, you want to make sure you're in the correct directory. So here, you want to make sure that you're in day 30 Wikibot. Once you're in there, then you type streamlet run main.py. And then when this runs, this is going to spin up a local server for you. OK, so here it's already doing it. And then here it is. So if we go back, right, um, you can view streamlet app in your browser. And this is where we went. So then we can modify this, uh, give it a different Wikipedia search for Alan Turing, and then ask a question, how old was he when he passed away? OK, so this was just kind of a simple introduction into another way of loading data into a vector database. And you can do this all locally. Remember, I just used LM Studio using a simple, a very small Phi2 model. Let me know what you tried in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.